Skill Introduction In a grid of approximately 20 by 20 metres, half of the players position themselves outside the grid without a ball and the other half with a ball inside the grid. The players inside the grid dribble freely until they can pass to a free player on the outside who then passes the ball back to the same player. Change roles every two minutes. Encourage players to use their left and right foot on the coach's call. Next, the players form pairs with one ball and position themselves at the edge of the grid, three metres on either side of the line. The players move towards each other while playing one touch passes until they have reduced the distance to one to two metres. Then they move backwards again, continuing to pass until they have reached their starting position. Using their right foot only, left foot only, and right and left alternately. This exercise challenges the players to work on the weight and accuracy of their pass using both feet over varying distances. Concluding tagging game. All players go into the same grid we used for the previous exercises. Half of them have a ball at their feet, the others are without a ball. One player is appointed tagger and carries a bib in their hands. The tagger can only tag a player without a ball. If the tagger succeeds in tagging a player without the ball, both swap roles. The players with a ball can help their teammates without a ball by passing a ball to them when they are being chased by the tagger. Any balls that roll out of the grid may not be fetched back, so the passes need to be accurate. Variations to make easier or more difficult. Two or more taggers, more or less players with a ball. Skill training component, positioning games. Depending on the ability of your players, choose any of the three basic positioning games. For example, 4v1, 3v1, and 4v2. All have similar objectives, but with varying degrees of resistance and complexity. Possible coach's remarks specifically for 4v2. Now the player on the ball must always have a player to their left, right and in between that they can pass to. Especially look to pass through the two defenders. That's the most important pass. We can call that the killer pass. To step up, make the grid smaller and to step down, make the grid bigger. Skill game. 4v4 with four neutral players on a pitch approximately 20 by 30 metres. Four small goals placed as shown, two on each side. The team in possession of the ball can use the wall players, which makes it eight versus four. Rotate teams after three minutes or after each score. Scorers stay on. Depending on the level of the players, two to three touches maximum in order to get an emphasis on passing. Possible progressions. Wall players must play the ball direct. Goals count as double if scored by a so-called third man combination. 